Hello everyone, I hope you had a great time. Alright, let's get to the next chapter. In this part, we're gonna learn giving volume to the shapes that we have drawn before. One of the easiest techniques that we can make volumes through it is extruding. That I think you know it. Alright, let's make a circle here. Right click here, search circle, okay. Now we're gonna extrude this. That's a very simple job. Naturally, the name of its node is extrude. Okay, to do that, you need to right click, search extrude. You should know that extrude is divided into two parts. One of them is the normal extrude and the other one is extrude as solid. The difference is if you use the normal extrude, it gives you a surface which is so called an open volume but if you use extrude as solid it will close the start and the end of it you are able to use the normal extrude for the lines as well but if you use extrude as solid you can only use it for the closed shapes as you can see in the explanation it says curve must be closed but in this one it makes whatever line you give to it. And which one of these do we use usually? This one. Direction distance. If you want the end and the start of a cylinder, which has been made with the circle to be open, you need to use the normal extrude. But if you want it to be closed, you should use extrude as solid. You are not able to use extrude as solid for the open lines. Okay, click on direction distance. As you can see, only one of its port is red. And it wants us a curve. Okay, and for this one, it wants us a direction, which is 0, 0, 001. That means the default direction of extrude node is on Z axis and it has one unit for distance. So here if I give it to this one it extrudes on Z axis one unit. Okay uh, let's put extrude as solid as well here. Okay as you can see their settings are the same. So the explanation is the same for both of them. And if I give it to this one right uh, this here is closed. Uh, if you don't mind, let me uh, make a line here. Okay. Good. For example, I uh, give phi to its x and y. Okay, making a line here to start and end. And if I give it to this one, uh, control B, it would be like this. Uh, but here, if I give it to this one, it gives us warning. It says you gave it an open curve. Hence, we cannot use extrude as solid for the open lines. You may see like this later, for example, loft. Normal loft and loft as solid. If the shapes are closed, you can use loft as solid. Uh, all right, let me remove it and make here clean. Okay, I don't need this anymore. Here, all right, let's uh, make a rectangle. Uh, all right, search rectangle and here I'm gonna give it default XY plane, okay, and give it to this one. All right. Uh, let's make it bigger. Mm, for example, 3 is good. Okay, fine. Uh, well, here, this extrude has a direction. We can give it an exclusive direction. For example, we want it to extrude... Uh, mm, let me think. In a diagonal way. We can do it by vector by two points. All right, we need uh, two points. First of all, search point, okay. Uh, all right, let's give it a number. Um, 
okay and then give it to x y z well in which direction is it now it is on a cube diameter as you can see <sighs> okay now it's time for vector by two points search it vector all right by two points and give it to this one and this one and connect this to it okay uh, let's make it more and connect it to this one good it extrudes this uh, in this direction as you can see so we found out that we can use vector by two points in other situations as well for example in here like extruding and let me show you this uh, if you keep your mouse on it on direction it says vector to extrude along which means it needs a vector so we can make an exclusive vector for ourselves whether it is for rotation or extrude or anything else uh, remember in this direction part you can use the y x axis uh, whatever uh, but if uh, we give it y axis what will happen uh, okay as you can see it gives us warning because it cannot be in this way it should be on z axis or diagonal or here we change it to we change this plane to xz and if i connect this to this one so it can extrude it in y direction let me give you another example for example uh, let's make some rectangles here and we are getting closer little by little to our practice space uh, all right, uh, let's get to this. Uh, let me. All right, here I'm gonna make 10, 15 rectangles, and then extrude them in various size. First of all, naturally I need a point. The points which specify the planes that the rectangles are supposed to be on them. In other words, we are supposed to have some rectangles that we want them to be extruded in the various size. So at first we should put some points which specify the planes that they are the hosts of the rectangles. I don't want to make anything parametric so that you can focus on this only. And for the z-axis I say from zero, which technique you want you can write it. For example, it's from 0 to 40 uh, with the steps of, uh, okay, mm, for example, 3 is good. Then it gives us a list like this, as you can see. It doesn't matter that the last one should be 40 or not. I didn't use this state for once at all. Uh, let's use this for once. Um, what's the steps of uh, this uh, it's three but let me change it to five and let me make it bigger with length of 60 is good now we're gonna put a plane on each of these points and uh, to do that you should say play by origin yes uh, well uh, this origin wants us a point but we're gonna give it and a lot of points and then it makes a lot of planes as well for me now let's get to rectangle here all right let's put it uh, here and I'm gonna give it to its plane it makes a plane on each one of these uh, with this size as many as planes you give it it makes the three by three rectangles for you uh, but how many is this exactly? Because I want to make number for extruding. You can see it's number here, 13. It made 13 rectangles for you. Since we didn't make the number parametric, we don't know the number. Uh, but we can see it here, 13. 
for that either we should put hashtag or we should choose the number uh, okay let's get to extrude uh, I'm gonna use a solid one here okay click on it I'm able to do it since I have a closed shape I give my curves to it and all of them will be extruded at the same size but I want to make 13 different numbers and then they will be extruded in different size so here I say I want to extrude from 0 to 20 with 13 uh, numbers as you can see as you can see in the list uh, why 13 because the number of our rectangles is 13 I'm gonna give it to this one and it would be like this see okay do you remember shuffle uh, let's give shuffle to it and then see what will happen next okay right click search shuffle here i'm gonna connect this to this one and here it extrudes them randomly as you can see all right that's it uh, please practice all the things that i told you uh, all right i'm gonna give you a practice uh, let me show you how it's like uh, all right please give me a moment uh, it is yes uh, i'm gonna give you an explanation for this uh, let me bring its code Fortunately, I hide them and so that you cannot see them. All right. Let's see which part of it is parametric. Okay. As you can remember, we drew its circles before. So practically, you should work on its extruding. Uh, well, its radius. Uh, it's going to be its radius. Okay. This should be parametric as you can see the number it should be parametric as well and this one which is the maximum height that can affect to the others they have a rhythm see so we need uh, three parameters please don't modify the practice for example okay it's the radius forget the number no you shouldn't do that I really thought and worked on this practice very much so don't underestimate this practice and I'm gonna draw it for you in the next chapter until then have a good luck